This is News 2 at 9, Colorado's first news at 9. Close to 1,500 new jobs are coming to Colorado, all of them in the expanding field of new energy. Yesterday, Governor Bill Ritter was in Pueblo, where 100 new jobs are coming to a water purification company. Thornton-based Ascent Solar will hire about 200 new employees over the next couple of years. The company makes paper-thin, flexible solar panels that can be attached to almost anything. Governor Ritter celebrating the company's opening day today. He says Ascent is another symbol of how Colorado has become a national and international leader in developing a new energy economy. But that we can also have a role internationally as a leader in how we as a world move forward with a cleaner energy economy that can have a serious impact on climate and at the same time can involve economic development throughout the world. So we're here. Tomorrow, Ritter will attend a groundbreaking for two new Vestas wind energy plants in Brighton. That expansion expected to create more than 1,300 new jobs. So how can you get one of these new energy jobs? News 2's Eli Stokels has more for us tonight. And obviously, there's going to be a lot of companies, uh, a lot of people looking for these jobs. So what are the companies actually Yeah, looking there already for? are. As a matter of fact, some companies, mm -hmm. they're getting bombarded with resumes. Obviously, these new energy companies, they're not just coming to Colorado because we got a lot of wind and sun. They come because because we also have an educated workforce here. But as fast as this economy is changing, even experienced, educated workers are being told they need to change right along with it. Ready? Yeah. There you go. With politicians celebrating 200 new jobs, we thought you might be wondering just how to get one. So we asked Ascent Solar's Bruce Burkoff what they're looking for. And we're certainly looking for people, if possible, with a technical engineering background. If you've been in things like material manufacturing or semiconductor manufacturing, then a lot of the same equipment will be utilized in thin film solar manufacturing. If that's not on your resume, don't give up. When it comes to looking for a job, um, the people who are the most successful are the ones who invest themselves into it. The Adams County Economic Development Workforce helps job seekers get the answers and training that they need. Where do those training opportunities exist? How much is it? We can help people walk them through that. How much time does it take? And a lot of those people wind up here at Front Range Community College, where they've actually got training programs set up just for folks who want to work for companies like Ascent and Vestas. A lot of our community colleges are now partnering um, with businesses to see what kinds of skills people need. That means in just a semester or two, the new energy economy could be your new career. Maybe with a little retraining, people that have lost their jobs but have a good background in, in technology or mechanical or manufacturing, this is a good match for them. Now at Ascent and at most new energy companies, these jobs are being filled over a year or a two year period. So there still is time to get your resume in or even to get some new training at say Front Range Community College, somewhere like that. And this being one industry, Kelly, that does seem to be growing right. here in Colorado at this time and really growing rapidly. You know, if you invest in that education, there's a good chance there'll be more opportunities coming down the line. So even if you don't get this round of jobs, Maybe the next time. Yeah, not too late. You still have a couple years, and hopefully by then things will start looking a little bit better. Yeah, and certainly with this field, this new energy sector, I mean, Governor Ritter talks about it 20 times a day. He so does. it's one of those things that, uh, that definitely will be Keep growing going. here in the state. Okay, thanks, Eli. Sure.